Hello, this is Gabriel Morrison, and I'm doing activity 11-6, configuring a conditional forwarder. <clears throat> so step one is make sure server two is running, which I'm using server three. As explained in a previous assignment, my server two stopped working, created uh, server three so I could continue on with the assignments. All right, so server three slash two is running. Log on to server one as administrator. Already signed on. Open DNS manager if necessary. It's already open. And uh, let's see, in DNS manager, right click forward lookup zones. Click new zone. I want to click next. I want this to be a primary zone and we want to clear this because we don't want it stored in the active directory. So click next. For the zone name we're calling this one CSM pub dot local. It's a local pub, you know. It's a good one. So now we click next. And dynamic update window, we're going to click the allow both non secure and secure. Did I pass that one? No. I feel like I skipped a step. Let me go back here. Yep, so we're going to accept the default name there. Now we click allow both non secure and secure. Click next. Now we go click finish. The new zone is displayed here. And it is a standard primary type. So here we see the SOA and NS records. Now we're going to right click on the CSM pub. And we're going to give it a new host. So in the dialog box, we're going to type www. And for the IP address, we're going to give it 10.11.1.170. Click add host. And click OK twice. Well, it only gave me one. What? I should have read that. Let's try it again. 10.11.1.170. Add host. Host record cannot be created. Okay, so I must have already created it. Let's close that. Yep, there it is. So on server 2, or my server 3, I'm going to open a command prompt window. It's already open. Uh, where am I? So then we're going to type ns lookup. Press enter. Type server 10.11.1. Uh oh. I'm going to guess 5 because it's been saying 10.11.1.1 is server 1 and 10.11.1.2 is server 2 which my server 1 is 10.11.1.2 which is what it says to enter uh, but I think it means server 2 and my server 3 which acts as my server 2 has an IP address of 10.11.1.5 so let's try this yep if I were to just continue reading I would have avoided all that so it says so that DNS server is 411 server 2. Right, so now I'm going to type www. No, oh, got to click back in here. www.csmpub.local. Press enter. Uh, you get a message indicating that NS lookup can't find csmpub.local. Leave the command prompt window open. Okay, so that's good.
this is what we should see at this point. So now, while it's still being on server 2, click on conditional forward. Right here, conditional forwarders. Forwarders. Uh, and the new. You know what? Right click folder and click on new conditional. Uh, let's see here. The dialog box type. I want to guess it means DNS domain dialog box. And type CSM pub dot local. Yes, in the DNS domain text box. Okay, so that is what it meant. An IP address of master servers. Want to type ten dot eleven dot one dot one. Should be server one, but I want to put my true server one IP address. Uh, let's see. The address is resolved as server one, and the entry is validated. No, mine mine doesn't say it's validated. Um, yeah. So if let's click OK, in the command prompt window type. So let's see if that changed anything. I don't think it did. Uh, let's see. www dot csm pub dot local. Oh, hey, it did. Even though it said it wasn't good, it uh, gave us IP address of 10.11.1.170, which is the IP address we gave that host. All right, so that is correct. All right, thank you for watching and have a good night, day, morning, whatever time of day you are watching this.